morning friends, Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and today mom and I are doing the kids closet because apparently it just exploded again. I don't know how that happens. So here it is. This is the closet. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of the room. There's a desk I found at the uh, garage sale. Books, boxes, more books, Legos. Here are some shelves that I put the other day and Hence the reason why I have the scar right here, because I landed in one of the brackets. There's a table here that's a mess. There's another bed here, and more Legos. So, yeah. From far away, it looks like this. It's pretty much the same, the same setting on either side. So, today, what we need to do is empty out all of this mess. I have the oldest one side here in red and the little guy's side here in green there's my oldest son's stuff on top and then the kids the little one at the bottom these containers here with their uh, socks and underwear that's probably gonna go somewhere else and then there's a bunch of stuff here so the goal today is to empty out the closet and get rid of everything that's too small um for the little guy whatever is too small for the oldest one is going to be kept in boxes for my uh, youngest one to use and then uh, we need to put away everything that's short sleeve so that there's more room because they have a tendency when they get dressed in a hurry they just grab whatever they find and sometimes it's just not dressed appropriately for the weather and it's kind of annoying so you got to go back upstairs and get them dressed again so anyway I'm trying to teach them proper life skills but if you have kids you know what I'm talking about it's a ongoing task so Yep, uh, one of the things I'm probably going to do right now is remove all of the games that are up there because they're out of sight, therefore out of mind. And they're going to go on this shelf right here so that my little guy, William, can go ahead and see them, therefore want to play with them. So let me get going with that and then we'll start the whole process. Well, it didn't take much time to do that, so I have them already on the shelf. And now I have a big empty space right here, which is great. So i got to get a stool. So I can grab the stuff here. There's some picture frames. I don't know what to do with them. Um, I'm probably going to bring them into the attic because I'm not posting them. So, yeah. And then over here, I already have a box ready with uh, sweaters and uh, knits, whatnot, that are appropriate size for my little guy. Probably the six, seven, and eight. So I got to pull them out and bring them into this bottom row right here. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, removed everything here, everything at the bottom, pretty much everything over there, move some stuff up. And then I have a pile right here for donate. This is my little guy's clothes are too big for him and too small for my oldest one, so that's gonna go in boxes. And then we have everything here that's my oldest one. And then everything here, that's my youngest one. So we have some summer and some winter that you can wear now. And this is going to go in boxes as well in the closet for this summer. And now we're going to go ahead and do this side here. There's a lot of t-shirts that we're going to put in boxes as well. And another progress update. So all of this is donation. These are all hangers we got to bring back downstairs. And this is what the closet looks like right now. So what did we do? We got the little guy again, still on the right, and my oldest one on the left. These are sweaters that you can hang. He's got, um, and I put labels too. So I got jeans and sweats over here, and then these are all pajamas. And for the pajamas, what I do is that I have the pants and the top in sandwich. You see that? So that's a little package thing, so my little guy can just grab a package and it has a whole pajama set and then we have long sleeves right here and then on the top I have labels William Summer and William Summer so these are all clothes for the summer and I did the same thing for my oldest one so we got all of Edward's clothes for the summer right here and then on the other side I did the same thing we got long sleeves here we got pajamas there and I just realized that he only has three pajamas so we need to get some of that and obviously he needs uh, way more clothes than his brother, which is not surprising since this one guy here gets a lot of pass-me-downs. So 
We gotta go do some shopping and then we have jeans and pants. A lot of stuff is in um, the laundry still. And sweats are here and all of these sweaters and uh, flannel shirts are right here. So yeah, you can tell there's a disparity in amount of clothes um, only again because my little guy gets all the pass me down they are still in good condition so somebody needs to go shopping and again this is what it looks like so right now we need to do um, socks and undies and figure out where I'm gonna put those boxes I may actually put them back inside the closet I don't know I gotta figure it out but yeah looks much better it's nothing earth shattering but it's another one of my projects so um i'm glad i did that uh, i was kind of procrastinating but i'm really glad i did it because it needed to be done and all the way on top right there i have another label i have another label and it says william next year 2014 it's actually a little bit uh bigger but it's all of the clothes are too small for edward and too big for william so that's all the way up there and there's a mix of summer and some winter so when it's time for me to uh, do a switch I'll pick those up and bring them down and we'll do the same thing with the clothes that are here since it's already um, set up to have them when we hit spring and summer these will get moved over here and these will get moved over there if they still fit in if they don't fit in and they're still in good condition they'll go all the way on the top shelf so that's the system we've put together and I think it's gonna work out real fine. Okay, so it's done. Uh, I took about, I don't know, an hour, a little bit over, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Closet is completed, and then we decided to put the stuff that was inside on the outside out of the box, and this is uh, Edward, and this is William, so the, you know, underwear and uh, socks. So this one is a little bit lower because, you know, it's shorter, being the youngest, and yeah. I'm very happy about that. It's done. Again, this was uh, nothing earth shattering. I don't think I gave you any like brilliant idea or anything like that. But it was just another project I had to do. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was Sophia from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!